Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com um, So last week I had the um, how to on how to do boot with Sia Kernel um, Well, um, there's one for AT&T also, but let's go do it together uh, First you'll need to download Sia Kernel um, Blah blah dot zip I'll show you um, Open up a file manager, file explorer um, Whatever and uh, just copy it over somewhere. I put it in my downloads folder. Um, not this one. Actually, I put it in my in internal storage. I think. How do we get there? Um, crap. 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 External SD. No. 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 Oh, there we go. Uh, I haven't actually used this file manager <laughs> before. Maybe it's on the yeah SD card. Sorry. No. Nope. No. Nope. Um, let's try that again. Try mount SD card. Uh, EMMC, I think that's the other one. Yeah. Uh, there you go. So I got the SIA uh, version 3.2 blah 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 dot zip. If you have an older SIA, it won't do the boot. Um, and also, I'm going to install the AOKP, uh, the XDA user is TAS650, just uh, compiled. And uh, I'm actually running, running a Hellrace resurrection run for ATT, which has been. Uh, randomly turning off my on and off my screen, uh, but never mind that. I'm gonna still run it just for fun. Um, it's not a huge deal. Um, so what we would, what you want to do is block block boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery or whatever recovery you have. Um, hold down the volume up, volume down, and the power button together. Hold it down until your phone resets. And you enter enter into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, if you already have Sia Kernel, then you can run this again. Um, just similar, uh, pretty much the same. Um, but mo many of you are probably running whatever recovery, but it, it's the same thing. Just flash this new one over it. Um, this is the latest version of Sia, which supports two boot. So I'm gonna do install from SD card, choose it from I think an internal SD card. And then it's in my download folder. Um, no, I did it wrong again. It's it's in my SD card. Sorry. Download. Uh, see ya. There you go. Blah blah. Dot zip. Uh, I'm gonna install this. Um, this is only for ICS, by the way. This kernel is for ICS only. It's not. It's, you have to ha run ICS cur um, ROMs only. Um, go back and uh, advanced and reboot recovery and we should be on the new SIA kernel recovery um, for those of you who don't know the the recoveries go hand in hand with the kernels for this phone like a Galaxy Nexus no but for most of the Galaxy S2's except for the T-Mobile Galaxy S2 of um, the Epic 4G Touch the recovery is in the kernel that's why when you change the kernel, it changes the recovery also. And now we have the Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch, um, the SIA recovery that comes with the SIA kernel. All right, I don't want to confuse you. Here. And now let's go, um, go, go, go ahead and install a ROM that you want to put on. There's, there's going to be two, two, uh, your primary and the secondary um, ROM locations. So I already got Resurrection running on my primary. Um, you can just do the regular all install or whatever you're running. You want to put it in the secondary. Um, make sure you okay. Just go to Duboot options and do clone clone first ROM to um, second ROM. And what this will do is uh, basically take whatever you install on your phone and put it in the second ROM or the second partition. And then you can run uh, install brand new um, ROM on the first ROM, which is just I'll walk you through. So let me clone it. Say yes. And uh, you can also restore from uh, your clock mod backup recoveries or whatever. It's, there's a bunch of options, but this is a simple way to get started. One thing you don't want to do um, is install install the ROM straight into the second ROM because what happens is that um, once you get it in the second ROM, you can't clear your cache or dial the cache. And sometimes when you install a new ROM, um, that cache partition becomes corrupt and you become in 
this boot loop state and the only way to get out of that is to clear the cache and you can't do that on the second ROM. So just install it on the first ROM, make sure your ROM is running and then clone it to the second ROM. Um, the fail safe method to do so and now it's it's actually creating a new partition um, and also another note is that uh, your SD card won't be able to mount um, I think you have to have an SD card for this to work and uh, but you'll still be able to mount the internal storage or it's one one or the other um, but you should be able to use a uh, app like AirDroid um, to wirelessly copy files which is even better. Why use cables? Um, I'll have a review of that. I have way too many things to do on a Saturday night. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. I just actually partied like last whole week, no, last whole month. Every weekend I've just been partied up like, like so crazy. And you know what? Maybe I, I need this weekend off and just not party so much. Um, so. So, but for, for those of you I'm um, still watching this video, you should be going out and having fun. Um, you know, go out with your friends, buy some drinks, um, you know, do some backseat driving. Uh, anyway, I'll be back when this is done. Hi right, folks, so that is done. Um, uh, so you can also view current status there. And I'll say second ROM found. Um, it'll show my Resurrection Remix there. And let me actually go back. Now you can go ahead and install a new ROM in your primary uh, partition, which is the first ROM, they call it. So I'm just going to do a white data factory reset and install this new ROM I'm going to review um, later, maybe tomorrow. And uh, let's go install from zip f. So from SD card, choose it from SD card, and just the regular install, just nothing more to it, and this will go into the new one. So I'm going to install the task um, 650 AOKP, that one, and I'm going to say yes. And this will install to the first ROM. So now I have uh, ROM on my second ROM and ROM on my first ROM, and I uh, should be all good to go. And it should give you an option to dual boot. I think the volume keys are the home button, power key or something. Uh, I'll show you. So that's pretty much it, and now you can dual boot on your AT&T Galaxy S2. Um, I'll have further up videos on the uh, T-Mobile version and also the Epic 4G Touch version, and hopefully we'll have one for Galaxy Note. And uh, you know, since this is all open source, um, it shouldn't take t too long for ROM developers and kernel developers to figure out how to do it for their versions of Android which makes which is the coolest part about Android um, you know open source so you can take this code and uh, apply it to another phone especially the Samsung phones are very similar so you shouldn't you should start seeing SIA kernels or other kernels implementing this oh one thing I forgot um, you do have to flash the SIA kernel again if the ROM that you installed doesn't in the primary ROM doesn't come with um, SIA kernel. So I forgot to do that. That's why I don't have the option. But I'm gonna let it boot all the way just to show you that ROM is running fine. And then we'll go install the SIA kernel again in whatever recovery this ROM installed. So every time you install a new ROM, it's gonna install a new recovery. Um, for the Galaxy S2 series, except for the T-Mobile version, because uh, the ROMs come with kernels, kernels come with recoveries. So every time you're flashing a new ROM, you're actually getting a new recovery. I know this because I was doing a little bit of the kernel development, um, but it's it's just a lot of work, um, and I don't have time to do it. I I wish I could make my own ROM, um, but I, I might get some of my developer friends to make some ROMs for me later. Maybe I'll pay him. I have enough money. I'll pay him like a Zeto Max wrong for me. Um, here we go. And the uh, that's so that's the AOKP wrong here. You can see it's running fine. Um, I think you have to flash G apps separately. Do you? Yes, you do. I have G apps. Um, so let's go back into uh, recovery. Hold down volume up, power. Oh, volume down, 
volume up power like we did before. Or if you have a ROM that supports recovery boot, then you can just do that. And uh, we'll go install SIA kernel again. And it should be compatible. It is compatible across all ICS ROMs, customer ROMs, stock ROMs, in case you're asking. And then, uh, yeah, that's a good thing about Galaxy S2. Whereas, like the Evo 4G, you can't use like Sense ROMs on non Sense ROMs or all that BS. That's why S2 is awesome. Uh, install the zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. We're going to do the same thing we did at the beginning of this video which is install the SIA kernel so the latest ROM I installed overrode it and with this ROM ins uh, this installed go back reboot and now you'll see an option to boot into uh, your second ROM I think it's volume keys I'll say show you right about here um, there we go it says home or volume down key so I hit the volume down booting to the secondary ROM and you won't get that option unless you actually cloned your first ROM to the second ROM or installed a new ROM to the second one, which I actually don't. So now it's loading my Resurrection uh, Hellraise ROM for my AT&T Galaxy S2, and it's working just fine. And oh yeah, and I should get 3G HSPA right here soon. There you go. So it's running 3G. Uh, let's try again and we'll go back to the first ROM since we flashed the new SIA kernel. Make sure that's booting well too. And uh, that's it pretty much. Now you can get uh, do booting for your AT&T Galaxy S2. Actually, I, th I think it was available for a while, but I just didn't mess with it because, um, whatever. There we go. Now it's booting to the primary ROM with SIA kernel. And let's see if it boots up. And it should boot fine on any. ICS ROM. That's the beauty of Samsung Galaxy S2 and also Galaxy S3. That's what I'm looking for. So it might Android might upgrade when you upgrade the kernels, but it's booted up right away. And there you go. I've got two ROMs running. Um, pretty easy to do. Now there's certain features a ROM brings, you know, sometimes. And uh, now you can have best of both worlds without you know using Clockwork My Recovery. You can kind of well not dual boot, but this is awesome. Anyway, thanks you guys. Uh, if you have get Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list as always to um, galaxyS2root.com. I also have the link in my description if you're on YouTube. Um, and uh, you can sign up through that link or on my site. And uh, that way I can update you once or twice a week with Mom of the Week. And it also helps me. Um, and also it's a great way for you to communicate with me via email. And I don't share your email with anyone else but my dog. Um, and uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button up here, and share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus by hitting that share button. And I would highly appreciate it. And thanks to you guys for supporting my channel. Um, stay high on Android. And uh, see y'all later. Don't be a hater.